Walter. We're, we're uh, going to give the second step a try here. Um, I don't know how it's going to work out. This is just a simple 2D code. It's, um, all I did was widen the profile. Uh, you'll see there's a couple little pits that aren't getting taken off. Uh, I figured it wasn't worth an extra pass around the, the center section to take off those little pits. So I'll just grind those off later, I think. Shouldn't be any problem. So right now we're down about 60,000. And we have to go down uh, uh, 25,000 or 250,000, a quarter of an inch. So we got a ways to go. Um, We've been running about 16 minutes right now, so I figure this thing probably will take a little over an hour. Uh, I don't want to run it any faster. The step over is 40%, so it's, it's only cutting off about, it's only taking about 100,000 wide cut and uh, 10,000 deep, so just, uh, it won't take long. An hour um, I'll probably uh, break off the video at some point here pretty quick and then uh, come back at the end. Looks like maybe that, I didn't measure, but it looks like that little line that got left last time, maybe we can take that out with a quarter of an inch uh, depth there. I don't know. Looks like it, it disappeared. Well, that's good. Won't, won't show my past mistake. Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut it off right now and uh, save my battery and and then uh, come back in about uh, 45 minutes or so and and run the end of it. So you got the idea anyway. Looks like it's gonna turn out okay. It should fit right in my theoretically it should fit in the the trough I cut in the, in the front of the ramp, so hopefully. Anyway, I'm going to cut it off now, so I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, Walter, we're back again. Um, I'm looking at this, it uh, looks like we're down 130,000 now, or we're making that path, so uh, we're approaching halfway. Uh, 125,000 completed would be halfway. So anyway, going along okay, no problem. So uh, you can see those two little kits sticking up on the back side. <laughs> They're kind of precarious. I hope they don't uh, break off on their own because they might ship the corner right there. But, uh, I just have to hit them with a grinder or a belt sander or something later. Hopefully this whole thing will move, stay right on the chuck and I'll move it from here to the to the rotary table and start putting some increment marks. I, I don't think I'm going to make it too complicated. I think I'm just going to, like every 10 degrees, I'm going to put a full line across there. Uh, this should be okay. I see some of the... Some of the originals have numbers and more lines, some don't, so it uh, should be okay. So it looks like right now we're exactly, just about exactly halfway through, and the mock timer has reached 38 minutes, so, so yeah, we're looking at about an hour and 16, 17 minutes to complete this little job. So that's, not, that's not too bad. It's a little boring sitting here watching it, but... Uh, like I say, it's going along pretty good. Awful hot in here. The shot must be about 90 degrees right now, so it's pretty warm. But I think uh, I, I, I can step, step out in the breezeway and get a little fresh air. It's pretty warm today again. Anyway, okay, Walter, I'll sign off now and come back. I'll try to come back right at the end. Okay, Walter, back again. We're on the next to the last pass. We're down 240,000, and we're finishing up that pass right now. And then we'll be moving out. 
and then going down to uh, the final mark, 250,000. So here we go. The Z moves are fast with this software, so I don't worry about it. I could have made it shorter, but you know it happens so fast, and there's so few of them that it, uh, it wasn't a big concern. get it done faster. But we're in an hour and 13 minutes now, so however long it takes to make this pass. Not sure how long it takes per pass, but this should be the final pass. Actually, the, my little mark along the edge is not there, so quarter inch took that out. Actually the finish is not too bad. You know, four fluid end mills, quarter inch end mills. And we're stepping over 40%. It's good enough, I think. The setup is a little precarious, but at least at least it's only one time. Hopefully if I can if I can get it on the rotary table and get all the marks on it without having to change anything. I can actually adjust the rotary rotor, rotary table zero, so I know the truck will sit exactly in the same place, but I I, I shouldn't have to loosen the unit to be able to leave the nut tight there and to work out okay. Boy, it's hot here. I can't hardly leave my glasses on. They just fall off my face from the sweat. The motors are probably a little bit warm, but I've been running an hour and 15 minutes so far. So you know, After about an hour, they seem to start getting worn, even the stepper motors. When I was doing the back of the ram, using the x-axis all the time. The x-axis motor kept getting pretty warm. I guess, it, I guess it can run warm. It's not a big deal, but... It's a pretty hot day, too. That don't help. So here we go. We're getting down to the end. Hopefully nothing bad happens. Always, <laughs> always worry. Well, that looks like it. We're at the end of the road, so we had success. I'll uh, I'll button this thing up and and uh, put this little video on on uh, YouTube, so you can you can watch it in its entirety without having to listen to all my interruptions. Okay, sign off for now.